Hello everyone, I am Kocykek and today I'm gonna show you how to create a Spotify overlay that displays your current song. So let's get straight into it. So first of all, install a package called Spotify. This package is used for actually fetching using the Spotify web API. Okay, and now you can import it and you can go to Spotify, the developer Spotify.com to create your app. I will name my app called tutorial and app description called tutorial, <laughs> basically. And here in website, if you're doing it on a local computer like me, you can go with simply local host. And same in redirect URI. And you can add it and localhost will be added. And here you can choose web API since we don't really use any other things. And here you can understand and agree. You can read it, of course. <laughs> And you can save and there you go now you can go straight into settings and here you have client id you can copy it so here you can create a variable called client id equals string equals this string and you can view client secret here and you can copy it and you can create another variable like this all right now what you can do uh, you will also need a redirect URI and that will be localhost okay and now we can go into documentation so first of all let's go here and here you will find how the authentication really works so you can import this. This is Spotify OAuth 2. Import Spotify OAuth. So this is authentication tool. And how does it work? You go with SP, Spotify, Spotify, Auth Manager, Spotify Auth, Scope, Scope. Now the scope is actually what it wants to do like do you want to read playlists do you want to go with recommendations do you want to track your current song and of course we want to track current song right so you can go to developerspotify.com and here you have all the list of scopes and of course spotify connect has user red currently playing and this is the scope so you can go here, you can name your scope, user read currently playing and do the SP thingy, Spotify, Spotify, auf manager equals Spotify or auf. And now you can go with scope, scope. And I think in Spotify or auf, you can also go with client id client secret and and redirect uri so let's add these things client yeah it was with it was with floor client id equals client id client secret equals client secret and redirect URI will be redirect URI. All right, so this is basi basically a function. You, ca you, ca you just have to type your variables here. And now you can go with, well, I mean, it will authenticate. So you can just go with another variable that will have your current song as it has scope already. So it will display something, right? So let's go with variable current track and this will be SP and here you will have get information about users current playback and you can go with current playback. So just current playback 
and that's enough. And you can, of course, print the current track as well. So let me put some banger music in the background and let's go activate our script, which is Python Exe Spotify PI. Oh, oh. And yeah, there we go. It is allowing Spotify to connect to tutorial because I named it tutorial. And you agree that tutorial will be able to view your Spotify account data, the content you are playing, basically. So yeah, I agree to myself. Okay, and now you have this local host code, as you can see. So if you go back to where you executed the code, you have using localhost as redirect URI, blah, 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 tu, 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 enter the URL you are redirected to. And yeah, after auth authentication, you are redirected to localhost code. So you can copy, paste it here and enter. And what happened? I think that's not current playback at all. <laughs> it's currently playing, actually. No, 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 no. Maybe this. Go. Oh, now it fetched. Okay. And if I go up, is it showing Masamo? <laughs> Yeah, it works, so... All right, so basically, I think, checking here, I can also see image of the song, actually, as you can see, other side. So, I can use it and then print the song with image. So let's do it. Maybe let's start with the drag. So going to this example response, you can see that this is item, album, images and URL. And the name of it is, is in item and it is item name. Wait, item album, nice, probably name, yeah, this is ending here, or not, uh, hard to see, okay, so let's go with item, and name, and this will print the name, to real self, okay, and also let's add artist so it will be by in quotation marks and current track this will be item artist and here because it can be an array i will go with zero and then name so it is real self by vasamo if I will go with one, I will go with the singer. So I will go with, uh, actually it kind, it kinda is complicated for this song. <laughs> I figured it out now. Uh, but okay, let's st stay with this for now. I will go with every array to the last one then on function. Okay, so let's go with image data and this will be current track, item, album, images. And actually, if you go here, it is showing, where is it? Oh, here, it's showing three images. 
in different resolutions. So I will go with the lowest resolution one. So it is now zero. No, 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 no. This is 302. And now URL. And okay, with this image data, now I can go with image photo and go with requests get image data content and you need to import requests of course as well and you can import time to go with constant updating later on i will show it in a second so now let's go with open file image jpg write binary as handler handler write image data no no, no image photo image photo photo actually <laughs> and this should go with saving the true cell photo as you can see it works so now i can go with the text file open long text right file right this will be track and you can file close and now you can actually go with all of it in the while true loop you can actually delete this and at the at the end you can go with time slip maybe two is enough so let's go name file is not defined did you mean filter oh <laughs> file equals open all right this obs isn't recording so let's go here add text new and to, uh, read from file go with your file all right resize it okay and let's see if i changed something here then if this will change here as well in two seconds two seconds okay so far so good oh I didn't put this, so it actually plays the same song over and over again. Okay, so let's go with this. Yeah, you need to add current track here instead of this. I forgot about it. Okay, now it should look way better. Okay, I change. Okay, and it updates. Okay, 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 and I can also add an image. Which is this for at the moment all right and now let's actually change the song and yeah <laughs> it changes yeah <laughs> basically it works so yeah thank you for watching this video and see you in next ones bye